Yeah, hello boys and girls, Heavily Gamer here, baby in the flesh. And welcome back uh, for more uh, The Other Worlds, uh, people, yes. Uh, welcome back uh, for another episode of this beautiful game. Here I am uh, where I left off in the last episode. I'm here on my desk uh, drinking my beers like always, playing my favorite games. Let's uh, proceed the forward, the people, let's see what we're gonna do. Love so much the story so far, the gameplay reminds me a lot of uh, Fallout games. Yeah, my ear is hitting me like a fucking bitch. Mm. <clears throat> Let's see what the fuck we're gonna do, baby. What's this? Ground breaks? What are we gonna do? <laughs> Welcome to the system map. Here you can see all the planes and system as well as some special points of interest that you may have discovered. You can fly your ship to any location that you have unlocked. Though some uh, landing uh, base requires special codes and keys before they allow you to land there. Moving between planets is considered extremely dangerous and all employees are encouraged to remain home uh, or at work. What is the mission, dude? Jonas. Passage to anywhere. Oh. oh shit. Ground breaks. The groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Ground breaks? Got a sec. Yeah, baby. Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? What about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing this by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of borst and beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Gosh, no, Captain. I aim to stay so long as I'm welcome. I figured June Lay and I could confabulate over wireless, or by message. And maybe when we put into Groundbreaker, I could stop by to visit her sometimes. But only when you don't need me with you. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? No. Buddy. 
I don't have fucking lights on these shits. Smells like grease and unwashed bodies. That's not the point. This hack would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get cute with me again, you little back bay brat, I will toss you out an airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. I need a drink. <sighs> the fuck is happening here, man? Going for a stroll around the docking base? Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. Yeah, yeah. He's like the rest of those board jackasses. All bluster, no grit. All you gotta do is square your shoulders and stand up to him. Bored ain't accustomed to disobedience. Okay, slow down. What exactly did you do? Guy never liked me. Always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night... My foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. Exactly. I was only doing what any self-respecting Rangers fan would have done. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Got any plans? Enjoy my freedom. Scrounge together enough bits for a zero G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? What do you ask? Oh, just musing is all. Must be nice having the run of the colony. Never being anchored to one place, always chasing some horizon. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. I never caught your name, I'm heavily gamer. Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. See you around, boss. Going for a stroll around the docking base? Going for a stroll around the docking base? Skills and tax, shit. Oh my goodness.
perks. I have a perk too. <laughs> Jonas. Customs and inspection, right this way. Sealed. Identification, please. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. You take the starch out of them, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Wanda set over in sick bay. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Uh, her shipments? A handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board. That is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though.
Commandant Sunita might have a couple of folks she needs killed. Bad folks, I mean. Not, uh, not regular folks. She'll be at the security desk behind me. Chief Jun Lei might have an errand needs running. She's all tied up trying to fix our heat problem. You'll find her in engineering. No kidding? I'd love to get a look at this old girl's innards. I bet they're real twisty and weird. In a good way. If you're thinking to make a career here, don't waste your time. Full-time jobs on Groundbreaker tend to be inherited, or go to a fellow crew member's kid. Keep it in the family, you know. Alright. You noticed, huh? What can I say? We're passionate folks, and the board can't abide that independent spirit, especially not when it might impact their bottom line. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments anytime we like, and that terrifies them. It's a delicate balance, right? We could cancel their freighter's docking privileges in retaliation, but where'd that lead us? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow that is up to you. It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. <sighs> Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing base. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. Sure thing. Most places are on the promenade deck. Big door yonder, straight through security. There's a bar on the starboard side. I got a preference for the Lost Hope myself. Talk to Vera. She'll set you right. You need anything else? You let me know. Don't want anyone saying Groundbreaker's not the most hospitable port in the colony. Be seeing you. picked up this weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Here we go again. No one lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. You were hearing things. No, seriously. Work bench.
Seriously, there was a lot of static at first, but then this voice said his name was Graham? Graham, right. Broadcasting on a dead world full of monsters. Now I've heard everything. You know, it takes more muscles to frown than to smile. Who told you that, Graham? Asshole. Can we talk? Don't look funny at the crew. Heard the They don't like your face. Is any of the news they play here actually true? This place has a smell, right? It's not just me. Like mold and old socks. to Monarch is... It's always fucking freezing in the base. The board's embargo ensures that nothing can leave. Try not to be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Lots of unsavory types about. With caramel and pea free nuts in it, it's time for a KYO. Seeking relief from the heat? Till June Lay gets those radiators fixed, I've got the next best thing. Stellar Bay proper? Mm, tough to say. The board recalled all the nav keys about 10 years back when the corpse pulled back to Terra 2. It's overrun with beasts, I heard. Big ones. Kinda chew your face off for fun. Might all be bored propaganda, though. If you're aiming to get to Stellar Bay, you're gonna have to get your hands dirty. The board don't like them that truck with Monarch. But I ain't the one you ought to be asking. Try Gladys on the promenade. She'll fix you up. Only the usual. Marauders all over space. 
You ever wonder how a folk who can't figure the bleeding edge technology of a spoon can manage to get ships into space? The radiators, they're fucked ten ways to Sunday. And we're all sweating buckets wondering when the powers that be are gonna get around to fixing it. <sighs> Couldn't say, and I wouldn't be pouring drinks professionally if I could. All I know is we're cooking in our own juices here and it's only gonna get worse. They're supposed to gather up all the heat the systems generate and vent it into space. Instead of the heat going where it ought, though, it seems to be blowing straight down the promenade. Weeks? I lost track. Too long damn long. Engineering. Chief Junlei Tennyson, to be precise. She runs this heap. Best she can, anyway. Don't know what's got her dragging her heels, but I wish she'd hurry it up. That's not for me to say. But if you're feeling the urge toward helpfulness, you can find Chief Jun Lei in engineering. There's nobody who knows more about the station's guts. Any system you could name? June's crawled around inside and made it better. She doesn't come around here often, though. Don't see her as much of a drinker. Too straight lace for that. Mm. Nothing you need and everything you want. to buy all what the fudge
have you seen this man? Report offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report, have you seen this man? Reward offered for information. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. <laughs> Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Heavily Gamer here, baby. Nice place to have uh, be a baby. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. Seems kind of warm here, what the fuck is going on? Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. They want us to sweat, thinking that'll soften me up for a bad faith deal. If you'll excuse me, they can go fuck themselves. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back base. I keep diligent records of station repairs, requisitions, and available assets, just like my grandmother taught me. The station's radiators haven't changed since her time, and her records say the parts should be there. I trust them. Sorry, I forget not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned, and a haven for miscreants now. You must not have been here long. In Halcyon, new parts come by way of interstellar freighters from Earth, and the board monopolizes that kind of trade. That means I'd have to negotiate with the board. I've already given them the shops, the docking fees, and a damn embassy. Damn right. And while I'm captain of the Groundbreaker, it falls to me to preserve this ship's independence.
good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Can we talk? The ship's groaning something fierce, but I can make time for you. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking, I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Wow, great! I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said. Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. You're right, I don't. The board is after two things, bits and power, and they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. You've got my attention. Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life-or-death decisions on a shoestring budget. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like a chief engineer. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you could find your way around this labyrinth of ducks and panels, we could work something out. Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the Groundbreaker. My grandmother, Chief Gain, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was... Promoted, only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from chief engineer to captain. They must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. It was different knowing that I couldn't turn to anyone who could answer the tough questions for me. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennyson's know about. I hope that was a joke, Captain. I really do. I gilded that thing years ago. Now it brews a stim that goes down stronger than Nan or Spank. Family recipe. You've got my attention. Yeah, all right, uh, boys and girls. I'm gonna end the the episode here, people. We're gonna see what we're gonna do in the next one. Uh, 
we have a lot uh, on our hands uh, people to do with this uh, facility this uh, ship this base I am a bit confused uh, we're gonna see what uh, we're gonna do we're gonna understand the story the premises uh, of this uh, place the buttons are down below people don't forget to press them like share favorite subscribe hit the bell love you all bye